Tacos Gobernador. The next page in our taco manual is going to take you to something that I think you're really going to love. It's called Tacos Gobernador, Governor's Tacos. Now, this was something that was developed back in the 80s in the state of Sinaloa. They say it comes from a restaurant called Los Arcos that wanted to create something special for a visit of the governor. Well, since that time, and I don't know if that story is completely accurate, but since that time, this Tacos Gobernador has really taken off and it's morphed into many different varieties. I'm going to show you what I think is the most classic and tell you a little bit about some of the variations that I've discovered uh, as we go along. But the first thing that we have to do is to understand really what this is. Okay, so it's really machaca de camarón or a machaca made out of shrimp, which sounds like a very luxurious thing to do, except that they have so much shrimp there that they're always trying to find ways to use it up. So they just chop up the shrimp and they cook it with basically the ingredients that go into a pico de gallo, already sounds really good. And then they make it into these tacos that are sort of crispy on the outside with melted cheese on the inside. Sounds a little bit like a quesadilla. Uh, we're gonna make it with uh, Corn tortillas, you could make it with flour tortillas if you want, and people do both of those things in this region of Northern Baja in the state of Sinaloa. So the first thing that I gotta do is chop up all those ingredients that would be part of the pico de gallo, and then I have to chop up the shrimp. So let's get to work. Okay, clearly the heavy lifting in this recipe is all of the chopping because the filling really goes together very quickly. We're gonna start by putting a little bit of butter into this large skillet here. You could use oil for this if you wanted to. I just like the versions that have the butter in it because I think it balances with all of the other flavors really well and then marries to the cheese. First thing that's gonna go in here is going to be raw poblano. You almost never see me do that. But this dish is always made with raw poblano. I have a bunch of of serrano that I cut up here as well. And um, that serrano will go in just a little bit. I like the little extra kick that that gives it, but we're gonna start by sauteing here the onion and the raw poblano that I quartered uh, lengthwise and then sliced very thinly. I'm gonna get my temperature to about medium here now and then cook this until it's softening. That'll take about seven minutes or so. This garlic is going to go in, but just for a minute, just until you can smell it really beautifully. It releases its aroma. We don't want to burn it. That would give, make this a really bitter preparation. And now we're gonna put in the chili, that little bit of serrano chili and the chopped tomato. And we're gonna let this cook 
for a little while until the tomato has completely softened and this mixture looks like it's kind of coming together. Okay, this is really looking like a, a mixture that's coming together because the tomato has completely softened in here. So in go the shrimp, that only took a couple minutes. And then we are going to let stir this around over the same kind of medium heat here. Um, I like to do it in a big wide pan like this, uh, a very large skillet because everything will cook evenly and it will cook uh, quickly. If you have a smaller skillet than this, it's going to take you longer. But usually with this chopped shrimp in a heavy pan like this, it'll only take a couple of minutes, uh, two to three minutes for it to turn from that translucent look to a kind of milky white. Okay, now the extra little flavor booster, and that's Worcestershire sauce, about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Lots of recipes don't call for this, but I will tell you that it just boosts flavor. Think of that as your secret um, ingredient. Now, when that is pretty much just completely evaporated in the pan, I'm gonna give you the second of my flavor boosters, and that's tomato paste. We have the fresh tomato in here, but I'm gonna put in just a big heaping tablespoon of tomato paste. I like to buy it in the tube because I never use very much of it at any one time. That's gonna boost the color, but it's really gonna boost the flavor in this. So the Worcestershire sauce and that little bit of tomato paste is gonna really, really enhance the flavors here. Of course, we've got a couple of other flavor enhancers. I've got some chopped cilantro that I'm gonna stir in here. And at the same time, I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of salt, a generous, generous teaspoon of salt, because that's I know what it's going to need. Just a little bit more there. And we will stir this until it's dry and the filling is made. A couple of tortillas here. Um, these are homemade ones, and so they're a little bit thicker than the ones you would purchase at the store, but I will tell you the ones at the store are just fine for this preparation. And again, I will say that you can use the, um, the flour tortillas, but you don't coat those, you don't brush those with oil. I'm gonna just do a couple of them to show you here. And I'm gonna put them the oil side down on a hot griddle here, and then we're gonna cover them with some cheese, some melted cheese, or it's going to melt here, it's not melted, it's just shredded cheese right now. So you put about that much of it on there, that'd be about a third of a cup for each one of these. These are cheesy. And the hot filling, it doesn't have to be hot, you can make this ahead of time and then just work with it. Though I will tell you that if you don't um, warm it up at least to room temperature. It'll take too long for it to heat up here. So I'm going to put a portion of it on one side like that. And then use my spatula here to fold over. Okay, you want to see that cheese start melting. Now, and some of the filling and some of the cheese will inevitably end up on your griddle. If you don't have a big griddle, then you could do all of this in a large skillet, same size skillet as that. And you just wanna fold them over like that. And then we're just gonna turn them here for a couple of minutes until they start to crisp up. Now these will never be crispy like deep fried taco shells, nothing like that, but they will crisp and they will color a little bit and it just makes them so attractive and so absolutely delicious. I'm just gonna turn them for those couple of minutes while they continue to crisp. Okay, they're crunchy and delicious looking. The little bits of cheese that have come out and crisped on the griddle. Man, that stuff is so, so good. Okay, there we go. And now I'm ready to eat. Tacos Gobernador.